How's everybody doing? Right here we've got an Atari 2600. It has the classic symptoms of a faulty Riot chip. Um, it's a black screen, kind of fuzzy, with a blue line going down the left-hand side. Um, if you have that problem, it's possibly the Riot chip. As a matter of fact, it's almost definitely the Riot chip. They are starting to go bad. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tear this apart and we're going to take a look. Okay, I've already got the bottom off, and to get into this thing, you just take out these four screws in these holes here, probably stating the obvious. Okay, once you get your board out, this is what you'll have. Don't worry about the little foil uh, around there. You just can just disconnect your AV cable here. Now, what we're looking at is this chip here closest to the cartridge slot. Um, that's your riot chip. Below it is the RAM. The RAM can also go bad. Now, if you'll notice on this model, on the four Switch Woody and the older ones, there are sockets. So the chips just pop into the sockets, makes it very easy. If you have a Vader console, you have to desolder the chip from the board. It's not difficult to do, but it makes this a lot harder. And I recommend you use one of these. This is a chip extractor. You just clip it on each side of the chip and pull straight up. Okay, so here's a shot of the extractor on the chip. Um, just gonna yank it up. I can't do it while holding the camera, so I'm gonna have to put it down. Um, it's, I'm just gonna press down on the board and pull up on the extractor. And while you have the chip out, it's probably a good idea to clean it with some isoprop, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, just clean the contacts here. I'm just gonna clean the, the board underneath of it too. Um, can't hurt anything Probably not gonna help anything, but once again, just to be sure Okay, this is the new chip I bought the new riot chip these things are re semi readily available on eBay um, This is a used one, but claimed is working you'll notice the print is right this way but it installs the other way see the notch on the left you want that to be on the right hand side when you install this now one of the things that I didn't mention was the shielding um, this is how it will look when you first pull out your board uh, this is your shielding here it's easily removable um, there's little metal clips on the side here let me see if I can get a decent shot on one okay there's little metal clips on the side right in the center uh, you just simply grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and straighten it um, then you lift straighten all the ones on each side lift it straight up it's a little tricky it'll get a little bit stuck but once you get it off uh, the bottom will have the clips bottom piece will come off as well and as you notice, I pulled the uh, RAM chip. I'm going to replace that too. Okay, it's all reassembled now. And we're going to test it out with Tron Deadly Discs. I've got it hooked up to the television. Success. All right. And here's why it was important to me to get this one back up and running. Um, this is the original box. It has all its paperwork as well. These, it's matching serial numbers. On the box, the serial number matches the serial number on the console. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this thing back. And I just want to say I am by no means any type of electronical expert. Um, this was very easy to do. If I can do it, you can. Thanks for watching.